All right, so we're at my favorite Goodwill. It's Dollar Sunday. They have some tags that are a dollar and other tags are 50% off, so twice the deals. I'm pumped, I'm excited to take a look, and let's see what we find. Debbie the Chow Chow. I love her. I love her. Cute. So of course it's very busy in here today, so I actually had to uh, shop around for a minute before I could grab a cart and actually start really filming. <laughs> so the cart already has a number of pieces in it. I kind of basically went through the men's section without filming, so, but um, I just grabbed some t-shirts, so I'll be showing you everything at the end. And then I skimmed over the women's tops and showed you a few, but we're gonna go back through when it's a little bit less busy. I think I'll try maybe over at the dresses next, but we might have to just like skip around sections to like try to stay out of the way while I'm filming. So. All right, so we ended up in the like vests and jackets and they have a really good looking selection. So I'm gonna like flip through with you and just show you a little bit of everything. Oh, is that leather? Oh, it's suede. Yeah, that's suede leather. Oh, that's pretty nice. Four dollars. And that one's cute too. And Halloween. Really interesting, kind of like floral, but like artsy. And it's vintage, obviously, and it's a dollar. It looks, it feels like the rayon was like not um, cared for properly though, like it's starched or something. It's really crispy, so I don't know. I just feel like I don't need it, but it's cool. Oh, what is this checkered thing? Oh, wait, that's fun. Yeah, I wanna try that on. This colorway is really cute, very like Easter. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cute. It's a Woolrick fleece button up, size large. It's just little pine cones, but that's really adorable. Okay, I wanna think about that. In look. I love tacky stuff like that, it's fun. And a dark floral. <laughs> oh, and dollar sale, hmm. I don't know, just gut feeling I'm gonna leave it. And look, there's another kind of artsy floral one. This one's a linen blend, also a dollar. Intriguing threads. That is intriguing. I made it to the dresses. <laughs> Let's go.
this detail is so cute to me. I love this dress. Just a cute, basic, like nice pattern. This is an easy cut to style too, but it's got a lot of stains. And it's rayon. Um, it also feels like like that other jacket that we saw. It feels like it's over starched or something. Like it's really scratchy. I'll probably leave it. Another of those Kathy Lee dresses with the velvet collar and buttons. Sunshine, starshine, dollar tag. Cute, fun, vintage style. It's definitely a small dress though. This is a fun vintage like holiday dress. It's like a forest green color. These pearls. Laza South. Oh, sample. It's a sample dress, so probably no one else is ever gonna have it. <laughs> cool. Oh boy, here we go. Vintage Jessica Howard. That same like classic wearable cut of dress that I love in a red mini polka dot. Oh, the only thing I don't love the style buttons, but that's that would be an easy one to change. Oh my gosh, this like dream sundress kind of. I bet it's so cute on with sneakers. Yes. Sometimes I'll sort of play this like mental exercise with myself and be like at the end of or partway through thrifting and be like, okay, if I only got like one or two things, if I only found that red dress and that Debbie Chow Chow t-shirt, like it was, it would be worth the trip out here. <laughs> it just made the whole thrift. <laughs> Some more pretty dresses. Oh, I like this little rayon dark floral. Does that have pockets? No. Size 18 white stag. Oh, that's a pretty good one though. I might have to I have to think about that. Oh man, look at this tag. Look how sweet. Just a little denim jumper. Okay, I saw this sleeve poking out when I first walked over here. And I have to know, like, what is this dress? Oh. <sighs> wow. Look at the sleeve silhouette. Ooh, Union tag. Lawrence Greer. Oh, it's a half off tag. Okay, that's a must. That's really fun. Fun, classic like type of style that I find in this particular Goodwill. But not really the vibe, it's a little, I don't know. Don't love it, just a little off. <laughs> Look how stinking cute this dress is. That's so fun for like a little holiday party, black tie, LBD. It's 100% silk and beaded, oh, size eight. It's definitely not gonna fit me, but it's on sale for $3. Eesh. I love it. Here's a cute plaid Leslie Faye skirt. That would be fun for the fall. $4.99, actually $2.50 on sale. Ooh, pockets too. Classic vintage houndstooth wool skirt. Seems like it's a plus size, like maybe my size, and it's a dollar. 
Uh, I would personally want to hem it to like an above the knee length. Otherwise, I just don't see me getting wear out of it. But oh, for a dollar, that's pretty good. I might think about it. Denim, like super pleated waist, midi length button up skirt, pockets, Corette City Blues, size large ish. Mm. It's tempting. That's so tempting, but I had a couple of denim midi skirts that I ended up selling because I never wore them. I don't know. No way. Like, this is a fun find. This vintage acid wash denim skirt with the bows on the back, just like I had when I was a little girl, and it's plus size. This is way cute, but I don't really need another Christmas crew neck in my personal collection or in my shop right now, but a little vintage Christmas crew with a collar. Adorable. I know lots of people are into Betty Boop. This one's pretty cute. Um, I'm not personally into it, but I also went through like, in my mind, glancing at this, I thought it said sassy gal. And then I was like, oh no, it says that's a G. And I was like, oh, so it's gassy gal? <laughs> Gossip gal. <sighs> this little vintage black and white gingham button up. Plus size and a dollar tag, super cute. This is so adorable to me, like I wouldn't personally wear it, but it has this little apple flower huh? trim on the turtleneck. Okay. And it's called Heartstrings. It still has the original tag too, look. Ah, that's so cute, like for a teacher. Aww. This one's interesting to me, a little vintage sheer, frilly. Top. I feel like I feel like that's so cool. It's probably really pretty on, and it's plus size. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna think about it. It's a cute little horse girl piece. You know I'm all about it. Dollar tag. Just a nice basic. This is a cream silk knit, 100% silk. Composition New York. Very nice. And it's clean, stain free. I believe. <laughs> we'll double check it, of course. Alright. I. This graphic is cool, but like, what? Is it a typo or is this supposed to be a thing? <laughs> Sometimes, like, common pop culture things are lost on me. So, I have to Google it. Mr. Legs fashion knit shirts. <laughs> oh, what is this? Silk, Rena Z. Oh, I hope that fits me. That's freaking rad. Look at the cart. <laughs> it was the summer of 89. <laughs> Less known version. I love finding this brand, Forenza, though. It's fun. Here's some other tops I just found. This one has kind of a fun, like, psychedelic looking print there. This one uh, is an adorable little 80s blouse. Look at the tag, that's amazing. Little American picnic teddy bears. 
like this little red velvet top has potential. Like that could be such a cute low key holiday fit worn like with a nice pair of denim and like some cute heels or something just tucked in and then a great red lipstick to match. I don't know. I don't know. That one? Uh, another fun 80s piece with a cute tag. Bright lights. And kind of torn on this Yves Saint Clair blouse. I like finding this brand because their stuff like is made like a little bit nicer. Like there's always some nice details to their blouses, but this bright yellow also is so fun. So I might get that, we'll see. That's gonna stay in the cart. Okay, I like filled the cart so full, so many gems and it's time for me to sort everything. Let me show you, I found these uh, little vintage boots that I think are really cute. And they're not my size, they're size seven, and I thought about grabbing them for my shop, but I think I will leave them. They're Dexter brand. If they were my size, I would grab them, but I'll just leave them. And then I found a couple bags that I might get. This little lion print one, and this is a Longa Burger bag which I think is probably very nice. So, let's snag that. Okay, I also found this sweater vest I'm gonna leave. I feel like it could be cute, but I don't know. Probably if it was cotton, I wouldn't be able to resist, but it's, it's acrylic and wool, so meh. This little vintage Virginia tee, gonna leave that. This one I wanted to grab, but it does have a stain on it, so decided that didn't make the cut. And this one I just don't like the material, so I'm gonna leave that. This, as much as I want this, and I would like hem it, and like maybe get wear out of it, I just don't think I can take on the project of that right now. It's only a buck, but maybe if it had pockets, I would not be able to resist, but no. This is a really cute Christmas sweater for a dollar, but again, I just don't need those for my personal or for my shop. Shipping shore, and I think that's so cute for a dollar too. But it's just like really sheer and lightweight, so I'm gonna leave it. Also gonna leave this dress and this dress because I just found too many other things. And then I'm gonna try these jackets and maybe some other stuff. This jacket's probably too small for me, but I think I gotta get it anyway. It's really cool. I like the checker print. And it's like fuzzy. And here's that Woolrich jacket. It's so cute. I feel like it's not my style, but it might be a really good shop piece because it is Woolrich brand. So, might need to grab it. Okay, so I jumped in the fitting room to try a few other things. Here's that bright yellow blouse. Um, it's a little small for me and I'm wearing the wrong bra. But, it's such a good color. This would be so fun to color block an outfit. So I might grab it for the shop. This vintage Minnesota sleep shirt with the sleepy bear on it. <laughs> That's cute. It would be another one for my shop. I just don't know. Like, I don't know if people like, do you guys fuck with sleep shirts? I don't know. Here's the horse girl shirt. Wow, it's really soft. Hmm. Maybe. Here's that black frilly sheer top. It's uh, not quite the right size for me, and I feel like, of course, I want to tuck it and everything, but just to give you an idea, it's really pretty on. Um, I think if it was a sale one, I might grab it for my shop, but I might just leave it. Mm, even though it's a cool piece. There's that cream silk knit, and uh, it's very nice, but mm, I feel like I don't need it. I don't know. Found so many good, like, funky pieces that I'm going for. Okay, I'm so torn on this one. I love the cream. A chunky cable knit is classic. It just doesn't seem like the quality I would normally grab if it was cotton, like absolutely, but I'm not 100% on this one. But picture this. This sweater with the denim skirt and then a pair of like 
uh, burgundy like leather boots, knee high boots. With this, cute, uh huh. It's a whole look. Maybe a little bolo tie or just some cute gold jewelry. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we've seen everything. I showed you the stuff I'm not getting and a lot of stuff I'm considering, but there's a bunch I think that you haven't seen it all yet, so we're gonna do that next. In the haul, I will do a try on and styling with everything I'm taking home, which is a lot. The cart is like full, full so this Goodwill just never disappoints. So I will see you next for the haul. Okay, so another awesome thrift as expected at my favorite Goodwill ever. Love that location in Benton. Found some cool vintage, found some good dollar and 50% off deals. So let's get into the haul. So I found this vintage Leslie Faye. We stand Leslie Faye. I think the mixed color, like neutral polka dot situation is so cute. It's a really great cut with this faux wrap style at the top and it's got pockets. So just such a cool piece. I showed it in my thrift haul on Whatnot last night when I got it home and somebody bought it right away. So this one's already going to a good home. I'm super excited. What a little vintage dream. <laughs> and same with this dress actually, it also sold right away to the same person, which is perfect. It like, maybe even came from the same original owner, but so fun. This is like a faux snakeskin, colorful, sheer layering dress with a really great sleeve uh, silhouette there and a nice high neckline. So this one, the person is gonna have so much fun with. Me. I have had a red little micro polka dot dress on my wish list for quite a while and I don't have one in my closet yet so I'm happy to try this one out. I always love this classic sort of like t-shirt style cut. I didn't even notice the leg slits. Woo! <laughs> but it's got the little tie in the back as well to give you a little bit of shape. So very wearable, very cute. You can see it with Converse sneakers, with Doc Martin boots, and layered up, of course, for the cooler weather, and then a light summer dress with sandals or sneakers. So lots of fun styling options. Uh, let's try it on and style it because I'm hoping for a good fit as well. And then the other dress, I decided to pick up this vintage little silk and beaded number. I just think this style is so cute. This is not something that would, uh, it definitely is not gonna fit me. This is like a size eight, but it was on their sale. It's a great piece for my shop because somebody's gonna want it for the holiday season, I think. And again, having a nice quality silk and beaded LBD that could uh, go for a number of different occasions. Um, hopefully I can find it a good home. I tried to read this tag and I was like, beef basics? <laughs> Is that right? I got both of those jackets you saw me try in store. The Woolrick little pine cone print one. So cute. I love Woolrick brand stuff. It's so high quality. This one was like a nice cozy fit as well. Great for this time of year. And then I just loved the checker print on this one. It's so fun and funky, a little bit of a cropped fit. So it makes a really good like layering piece for indoors. Like you could kind of get away with wearing this to the office, but it's also fun enough to like wear out to dinner or a bar or something over a great graphic tee. Super cute. I got the yellow blouse, just such a great color. I know it's getting a little bit washed out on my lighting here, but it is so bright, bold, like golden yellow that it would be, it would be so fun uh, underneath like some sweaters and just have that pop of yellow or like a really great bold colored sweater vest or something. Um, just a fun color blocking piece, I think.
I'm so excited about this. I, I, uh, I didn't measure or get to try it on yet, so I'm just like, fingers crossed that this one fits me nicely because I really want to keep this. Uh, this is just so fun to me. I love this checkerboard pattern. It's, it's sequins. It's all sequin. The shoulder pads might be too extreme. They might need to come out. I don't know. They're pretty beefy. But I love it. I got this sweater, really great colorway in this one with the pink and green together and then some fun gold button details. This is like a fun uh, kind of like Y2K punk look to me. I can picture someone styling it that way, a little bit like Avril Lavigne throwback, but in a more, like with a modern twist, of course. But those kinds of looks are coming back and they're super fun to play with. So anyway, I had to snag this and uh, I, I think it's not gonna be a keeper for me. I think it's gonna be something that I'll try to sell. I ended up going strangely Western with this, like not pop punk at all, but. <laughs> I don't know if I just swapped out the boots, the cowboy boots for like Converse high tops or something, then it, it could work. I got these two pieces you saw me like holding up in the fitting room. I decided to go for it because I just love the idea of this styling together with some boots. So let's give it a try. Young blood. And then I also got that vintage throwback for me, the acid wash denim skirt with the bows on the back slit. Like, I'm so positive I had a skirt just like this as a kid. Maybe mine was a little bit more of a pencil cut, but um, I like the pleating on this. That's something that I look for in skirts. I wish it had pockets, but um, yeah. Let me give it a try. I'm hoping for a good fit once again because this is something I think I'd like to keep and style it up with my sweaters in the fall and winter and like graphic tees in the summer. The skirt doesn't fit me, so it's going in my shop, but it is a good plus size, so I'll be happy to find plus size vintage a good home. Surprise, surprise, I got myself another pair of Wrangler jeans. I just love them. But I spotted these in the men's section and they're just like the perfect medium wash that's a little bit missing from my closet right now. I have a darker wash and lighter wash, but anyway, I um, could use this medium wash. It's something that I've been trying to reach for, but I don't have, so snagged this pair and they're super long so I think I'm gonna give them a crop because the cropped jeans are also something that I keep reaching for right now. I got this sweet little kind of cottagecore themed crew neck just a very adorable wearable cozy crew neck love it this is the type of thing people are requesting in my uh, whatnot live sales so I had to grab it and um, this one doesn't have a tag. Oh my God, I just realized my knees curled up in the chair. I didn't even know this she was there. Look at her. You are so precious. I gotta send Coles a picture of this. It's too cute. All right, what the heck was I doing? Okay, very sidetracked by my adorable puppy. Speaking of adorable puppies, favorite find of the day has got to be the Debbie Chow Chow shirt. Look at this little fluff. I love a stranger dog tee. Like that's one of my favorite uh, genres of t-shirts to find for sure. That's everything. Thank you as always for thrifting with me. I hope you enjoyed today's thrift. I always, again, love that Goodwill and Vinton. It never fails to deliver on the interesting fun fun finds. I love my haul. If you guys want to check out any of the pieces that I mentioned will be in my shop, I do put the information below in the description box. No pressure, but sometimes people ask, so I do put the info down there. And I will see you back here again soon for a new video.